Hi folks, uh, I'm George, and um, you know, I, I posted a clip of what I call the Z-Cart on my Facebook and on YouTube, and I've had a lot of people ask questions about it, and they want me to give more of a detailed video of the car itself, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, for those of you who don't know, I built one a couple of years ago, and it was kind of a project with my son and I, and um, he was really into remote control cars, and he spent two, three thousand bucks on these remote control cars, and it was his passion. And I thought for a father-son project, it would be kind of fun if we built one that we could drive. So I said, hey, let's build a giant one that we can actually sit in and drive, and that's what we did. And I used bicycle tires, and uh, I got on the internet, and I, I bought a motor and some batteries, and just learned about electric vehicles and built this thing, and I put it on YouTube a couple of years ago. We've had 103,000 hits. I've probably had about 1,200 people email me wanting plans or details on how to build one. And honestly, that particular car had some issues. The front end was jacked up, and I couldn't keep it lined up well. And the bicycle tires really couldn't handle the lateral force. I, there's, there was a couple of times I went around a corner and the wheel collapsed, the spokes would break. So I decided to build a new one and I built this one, I call it the Z-Cart. Uh, this one I used sand rail rims with motorcycle tires. So that's what these are. These are rims off of the front of a sand rail and I mounted motorcycle tires on them and they work great. They're lightweight um, and I wanted tall, narrow tires because they're aerodynamic and you know, the bigger the wheel, the less you feel the bumps in the road. So I wanted big wheels and I wanted them to be narrow, and these work perfect. Um, the other one, I had independent shocks and suspension on the front. And, you know, this thing's not really designed to go super fast. And I kind of thought, you don't really need suspension. So, um, I was at Lowe's and Home Depot where I bought most of the parts for this thing. And I noticed that the riding lawnmowers, if you ever look at a riding lawnmower, the front end tilts. It doesn't have shocks, but it tilts so it can go over the terrain and the grass. So that's what I did here. I put a pivot inside here, and this front end tilts. It rocks back and forth. And it works really well. Um, you know, if you hit an even bump, you're going to feel it. But if you hit a rock or something on one side, it will absorb it, and it works pretty well. And it won't get out of alignment this way. It's pretty, pretty solid. I have a steering stabilizer here, and you can adjust the dampening right here by turning this knob. And this is made for an ATV, but it works perfect on here, so that's what I did there. And then these are my uh, lights up here. And um, so I put lights on it. This is a grill, and it actually functions. Air blows in here, and I've got a solenoid inside here that can get kind of warm because it turns on and off. It, it, it uh, controls the flow of electricity to the controller that runs the motor. So, um, and I've got fuses and things like that in here. I also have a horn. And um, I didn't put turn signals on it. I might, but it's not street legal. So, anyway, and then uh, this is the accelerator over here. Um, it's not a gas pedal because there's no gas but it does accelerate the vehicle, so, that, so I call it an accelerator. I added mirrors here. And, oh, and by the way, the body on this, I made it out of plastic. Um, let me grab a piece. I went and bought a four by eight sheet of polyethylene, three quarter inch plastic. And I decided, why not use plastic? I wanted to have just two halves that uh, kind of go together and have the batteries and everything in the center. So this is one big sheet of plastic and that's what I started out with. I did take photos of everything. Uh, so I've got plastic on both sides and then I used aluminum paneling on the inside. And uh, I've got some aluminum angle inside to secure it or strengthen it up, but plastic. It's recyclable. Um, and then in here I've got a charger. It has an onboard charger. I don't know if you can see. 
Uh, on the dash here, I've got a charge meter that shows your charge. And this, this little yellow thing, if you can see it, it's a plug. And you just take the plug, and you plug it in, and it takes about three hours to charge it up, which is cool. And then, um, what else? On the back here, so this is the motor, and this is called an E-Tech motor. Briggs & Stratton originally designed this motor. Briggs & Stratton makes the lawnmower engines. They designed this motor for um, floor buffers. If you go to a grocery store and sometimes you see the guy driving, he's standing on this floor buffing machine and it buffs the floor and drives along, that's what this does. That's what this motor was designed for. So it, it has a lot of torque. This little motor turns a big buffing wheel and drives the vehicle that cleans the floors. It's a very efficient motor. Um, has very strong magnets inside here. And guys were putting these in motorcycles, and so I figured, why not make a small four-wheel drive vehicle? There's a lot of people that won't get on a motorcycle. So that was part of the motivation, was to make a small um, NEV, Neighborhood Electric Vehicle. Golf carts are considered neighborhood electric vehicles now. They put turn signals on them, and they can be street legal. But they're, they're boring, quite frankly. This thing hauls butt. It's a lot of fun to drive. If you look at the videos, um, it really gets up and goes. I mean, it gets your adrenaline going, and it's exciting. And I wanted that. In the back here, this is a cover. You can, uh, I can take this off or take it down. I've got it on hinges. And I do have a differential back here. Um, let me just get this knob off. And inside here, I've got two chains. I I'm by myself, so I don't have somebody to move the camera around, so bear with me. But anyway, there's a jack shaft, there's two chains inside here, and uh, everything's adjustable, so you can keep it adjusted. And then um, here, this blue thing here, this is the controller. The uh, accelerator talks to the controller, and the controller controls the amount of power that goes to the motor. And um, it's adjustable. You can plug a computer, a laptop, into this thing, and you can adjust the top speed, and there's different power curves, and it just makes it nice. This is just an antenna that I put on it. I've got a red light on the top, I, just to make it more visible. At night, if you're driving around and there's a car, you know, if you're in front of a car, they're going to see you. So that's all that is. I do have shocks in the back. Um, these are the brake calipers. I've got, I used racing go-kart brakes. These brake calipers go on these go-karts that go about 100 miles an hour. And they have one caliper for a solid rear axle that stops both wheels. On this, because I have a differential, you got to have one caliper on each side. So I did. I put one here, and I've got another one here. So it's got a dual disc, hydraulic brakes on the back. This is an air scoop. And I put the air scoop on it to keep the motor cool. The, um, the motor's air-cooled, but, and there's a, there's a uh, armature inside the motor that acts somewhat like a fan, but it doesn't really do a good job, so I cut a plate out here, and I added this air scoop, and it's really just a piece of plumbing, it's a piece of PVC plumbing, um, but I cut it up and modified it and painted it red and put it on there, and it works really well. What else can I tell you? Um, that's about it, uh, and I think, oh, there's a guy that, that does an online magazine, and he wrote me yesterday, he had put an article together on my first one, it's called Autoblog Green, and he wrote me yesterday, and he saw this one, and he was excited about it, and so he wants some videos, he wanted to post something next week, uh, and he wanted me to do something in the dirt, so... I think I'm going to take it out in the dirt and try to videotape myself driving it around and then I'll post that too.